it's Selena Gomez. I'm gonna show you a quick routine for nice to go, on the go, not a lot of makeup. <laughs> I am currently in my first glam room that has ever existed for me. So this is for me when I get ready for fun or when I've been doing this tutorials or even if I want to get ready <laughs> to not go anywhere, it's so much fun. Okie dokie. So today is the big day. This is when Rare Beauty is launching and I'm so excited because it's been over two years. Okay, so usually I start with my face clean and then I use the Always Optimist, which is my four-in-one spray. And it's basically got multiple ingredients in it to give you that refresh look and to have moisture added on. So I'm gonna do this first before foundation. Also smells like a spa, bonus. You could also use it after you're done with your makeup. So the names were, were originally gonna be things that inspired me, um, but I don't think a lot of people would have gotten that. So I basically decided to go with things that I would encourage you. So every time you pick up a color or a shade, you can look at it and it kind of is a nice reminder. Okay, next part is foundation. And I suggest that you give it a little shake so that all the pigments can mix together. And you're gonna use the doe foot applicator. And what I tend to do is do a little dot system um, around my face. So this goes a long way. So here is my foundation brush. And what I'm gonna do is lightly go over my skin. And you can see that it just like melts in. It doesn't like feel super obnoxious or kind of caked in. But the good news about this is that if you were wanting to do more of like a complexion, like if I were gonna go on a red carpet or a music video, obviously I would be able to tag, um, tag team it, I guess. I really wanted my brand to be not a place that felt intimidating, but a place that was safe. It's impossible not to feel some sort of way when you're living in a world full of Instagram and Photoshop and Facetune. It just doesn't make you feel good about yourself. So it's, it's to combat what people view as perfection. It's just something that I feel people will be comfortable with. So I kind of go from different shades a lot. So I'm going to use this concealer. Again, kind of got that slant, which I love, because then you can go in to those problematic areas. I have dark circles and redness. Now this is my concealer brush. It's really, really pretty. I kind of pat first and then blend it in. That's just because you don't want to wipe any of the product off. You just kind of want it to stay put. I'm sure this isn't 10 minutes and I'm so sorry. I would say that I think my relationship with makeup has uh, gotten better since, you know, all of this. I feel like, I think there's a, a point where you become like you need it. And I felt like if I didn't have it on, I wasn't pretty. And I would have to say that I think the past two years, which is not long ago, I've really started to understand that makeup is meant to be an accessory. It's not meant to be something that you need and I definitely don't need it to feel pretty, but now I view it as something exciting to, you know, to get and explore and do things. And I feel more empowered being able to do my own makeup. So, yeah. My favorite soft pinch blush. This one is more of a matte finish and this one's called Bliss. So this one's one of my favorites. There's a trick that Hung taught me with blush, which is kind of starting it up here. And this also, beware, has a lot of colors. So I'm gonna show you just how that works. So basically, you can kind of see it there. And then, as you slowly melt it onto your skin, and I move the blush towards the cheekbone area 
Okie dokie. Now I'm going to do positive light liquid luminizer and it depends on what color I want, but I usually go for Enchant. And what I really love about these luminizers is that they're not overbearing or not too in your face. And it's just fun, you know? I love that it's liquid. I, lo I love that it has the same doe foot application. And now I'm gonna put some right above blush. And of course, if you want, you can do My favorite product would have to be the lips. <laughs> Every part was so fun, mixing all of the different things and, you know, coming up with different formulas to see what would work well and what would blend well. I think just because we were doing something that was gonna be broad, it was like meant to be something that every single step you can use with your fingers if you want to. Or you could use the sponge, which basically I'm so proud of our sponge. You could do like concealer, foundation, you can do blush, and then in the, I know we're in here to do the highlighter. So it's actually really nice because it's multi, multi-used. multi <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm pretty much dork. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Benefit bronzer. Um, and what I'm gonna do with that is kind of go in, um, when I'm tan I do this, so I usually go in with a light brush use this and then I do a little under okay now we're gonna do the brow harmony which is the pencil and gel I'm using cool brown this is super high pigmented and I love it because I always love a good strong brow but because it's wax material you actually can just you know brush it along and you can still make it thin but obviously I love a good brow I'm just gonna go over it over it over it over it then you can use a little spoolie and use light bit just to kind of keep them in place. Okay. Da -da. Now I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadow. And this one happened to be one of my favorites. So I'm gonna use this and it's called Coco. And I'll just kind of go along the line. I know it looks crazy now, but just wait till we blend. And this is super easy to use because you can use a brush blend it so well and it just kind of gives you more of that a little bit of that dark nice light brown definition over your lashes i don't know if you can see that next i'm going to use with gratitude my dewy lip balm and this one's going to be in a muted peach where is this one right here this one's kind of got a little bit of a pink shade to it these are almost like a lip balmy feel and the more you use it, the more color you get. So you, like if I were to just start with one like one little coat, kind of gives you that nice moisturizing feeling. But if I want a little more, I'm gonna do that. To set my makeup, I'm going to use my 4-in-1 Optimist Mist. Give it a little shake. You should give all my products a little shake because there's so much um, pigment and you want it to get that smooth feeling. And that is my 10-minute makeup review. Hopefully I didn't go over that, but I'm going to do this just because this lighting is killing me. This, is, this may not be a part of y'all's routine, but it's because I really, really wanted to see it. You see? Okay, let's see what we got. Done. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Allure, for giving me the chance to do a 10-minute routine with all of you guys. And I hope anyone who picks up a package of my product will feel special, will feel like it's made for them. And I would love to know what you guys think. I'm obsessed to see all the 
people and how they try um, my makeup. It's been really interesting. So again, thank you so much and I'll see you soon.